In Hungary, three out of four homes are not energy efficient. Most belong to low- and middle-income families living in blockhouses, large multi-household buildings constructed during the Soviet era almost 50 years ago. They are built using prefabricated panel technology that is outdated by today's standards and in need of renovation. As an architect, I can tell you, block houses are well-built, sturdy structures, but their energy systems are old and inefficient. Block houses are energy wasters. A heat map will show the energy that escapes from the old windows and block walls. With skyrocketing energy prices, overheads became unbearable as heating costs, which accounted for 60% of expenses, tripled. This placed a huge burden on our tenants. I have lived in this house since 1971. It was unbearably hot in the summer and cold in the winter, with extremely high heating bills. It was very difficult for me to make these payments. I was seriously considering moving elsewhere. Blockhouse associations, however, face difficulties getting renovations underway. We turned to several banks for a loan to cover our energy efficiency project, but tenants could not provide the collateral required for financing. A major problem with these projects was that lending in the classic sense to a housing association was inconceivable. These entities do not make profit, have no assets or income, apart from the money they receive from tenants on a monthly basis, which is virtually all spent on maintenance. In this context, IFC joined the push for energy efficiency investments in Hungary. The government offered a temporary subsidy to aid tenant contributions and spur initial investment. But still, banks knew little about gigajoules and energy efficiency. IFC helped finance roadshows and public awareness campaigns to further engage market participants. We introduced a new cash flow based lending scheme to match the way housing associations finance their renovations from the increased amount of monthly fees flowing in from the tenants. All the tenants agreed to increase their individual common cost payments to a level where on aggregate they covered the monthly installments to the loan. We figured we could cover the installments with the money saved on energy. But one problem remained. There was still no collateral. It was solved with IFC's backing. IFC introduced an innovative financing approach, the Partial Credit Guarantee, which guaranteed a bank's right to recover a portion of its investment in the event a blockhouse defaulted on its loan. This helped jumpstart lending for energy efficiency projects. Projects were aimed at reducing blockhouse energy demand, primarily through better insulation and modern heating systems. A 2005 external evaluation of IFC's energy efficiency program in Hungary found notable success in blockhouse renovation projects undertaken with Raiffeisen Bank. More than 800 investments in blockhouse renovations worth over $60 million have been completed to date. These investments have resulted in 35% energy savings on average. For many tenants, the renovations have brought welcomed changes. I am extremely happy with the energy efficiency project. Before the refurbishment, houses looked terrible, windows were falling apart, and apartments were drafty. Now I have well-insulated windows that are easy to handle and keep the noise out. At the top, there is a device that gauges humidity and lets the air in as necessary. New adjustable radiators let me easily regulate temperatures and keep heating costs down. We first realized how effective the new insulation was when we returned home from our summer holiday and the apartment was nice and cool. We now consume about a third less energy and our heating bills are less, about $50 less per month. Since the renovation, I no longer need to use an electric heater to keep the children warm at night. We are happy with the makeover. I have lived in the neighborhood for a long time. Before, houses looked lousy. Now they are better equipped and look much nicer. As a result, our property value has risen considerably. To date, not a single blockhouse has defaulted on its loan. We have been repaying our loan for almost two years now, and we have never been late on a payment to the bank. I make sure nobody falls behind on their contribution to the house's mutual budget. 
Still, the evaluation points at a glaring investment gap. Many blockhouses remain unrenovated or only partially renovated. Because of the reliance on subsidies, some of the blockhouses and some of the housing representatives are still postponing their investment agendas in wait for these subsidies to be available, and that's a hindering factor for the expansion in the market in Hungary. Housing representatives are often intimidated by the difficulty of the project. It is very difficult to reach a consensus on every aspect of the renovation among so many different tenants. We couldn't wait. We live next to a busy junction and we need better insulation to block noise and to save on high heating bills. We took out a private loan for $2,000 to replace our windows, but it's hard to pay the installments from our small pension. We are facing tough times. The result is blockhouses insulating only one face of the building, the coldest side, or tenants undertaking their own renovations. At any rate, they do not translate into significant energy savings. IFC continues to improve its energy efficiency program, incorporating many of the suggestions from external evaluations and its own quality assessments. I've considered a switch to geothermic heating, which would also cool buildings in the summer. It's our natural resource in Hungary. We have a very exciting future ahead of us, exploring larger and more complex energy efficiency projects. The greatest benefit of our collaboration with IFC is helping more and more households save money and reduce their environmental footprint.